Okay, hello and welcome back to my channel, The Dev Explaining. Uh, today we are going to start the journey together. So I decided to create a series of how to use Python uh, programming language to program a Discord bot. And this is going to be the first part of the series. Uh, topic is not difficult, but uh, there is some details to take care of. So it will take some time, so I decided to make a series. So we'll start here. Um, what I'm going to go through in this short video is uh, how to get set up, how to get started, so that you have all the prerequisites in place, so that next time we can uh, jump directly into coding. Okay, so uh, to have a good Discord bot, uh, you need few things. You need a user account, you need a server, then you need an application, and then you need a bot. And finally, you have to uh, kind of bind the bot and your server together or add, add bot to your server uh, and give it enough permissions to do so. So that's what we are going to do today. Um, as always, if you like the content here, feel free to press that like button, uh, share the video for your friends, subscribe or even press that bell icon to get notified when I publish more videos. Okay, so let's jump into it. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Step number one, I have already done here. Uh, if you want, if you don't have a Discord account before this, you can go to www.discord.com and you, you can just create uh, the account there. And similarly, if you want a server, you can go and create one. Uh, or if you have access to a server and you have enough uh, permissions to kind of administer it, sure, you can use that one. In my case, I have created a simple server and then I have the Discord bot channel here ready to go. So that's two steps down, down, and then we can focus on the more important ones. So the next part starts from the Discord developer portal, and uh, I will put every link I, uh, that is important always in the description of the video, so you can find this from there. But it's discord.com uh, slash developers. And uh, then you are going to create a new application. In this case, uh, what I'm going to create is going to be a Pomodoro application. And uh, that's because I love Pomodoro system. It's ma it makes me very productive. Uh, idea is that uh, you work your day in mini sprints. So let's say you take 25 minutes, you set a goal and you, you focus very hard for that uh, 25 minutes, perhaps enter a flow state. But uh, there is a timer and you will get notified afterwards and then you have a short break. You kind of uh, have a checkpoint, you check that everything was good. Uh, you make a new plan or new direction and then you commit yourself to focus on that for the next 25 minutes. So that way, uh, when I get to work like that, uh, uh, I, I think it's fi fairly effective because if I, if I dive into something for longer periods, it might be that I go to endless unproductive loop. And uh, if I get constantly interrupted by somebody else, it's not very productive either. So Pomodoro is a great system. There's a lot of good tools for it already, but I'm going to create another one just for me. So let's call this Pomodoro. By the way, that's not going to happen today. This is just start of the journey. So once you have an application, you could customize it in, in many ways. We are not going to do that today. Uh, but next step that we need is a bot. So we need to go go to the bot uh, and add a bot. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So now we have a wild bot. I'm going to rename this as Mr. Pomo Dorio. That's fine. And then a uh, final thing to do here is uh, I I'll go to OAuth, uh, OAuth uh, kind of uh, generator. Uh, because we need to give permissions and add the bot to the channel. So I'm going to grab uh, scope bot and then figure out the permissions. There is always a huge temptation to do something like this. I'll tell you why not. This is a kind of a good security stop point. So uh, if we give the bot administrator access, bot is then able to do anything for the server. Granted, Blast Radius is only that one server, pretty much. However, it can create a lot of damage there. If somehow your bot uh, 
access uh, credentials would leak to some other place or you make a bug for example so let's not give administrator access for our bot let's use a principle of least uh, permission that would be pulp so using pulp we start from what's the minimum that's needed not not what's a uh, maximum or convenient uh, i want to be able to send messages and read message history so that should be fairly straightforward and with that I have a URL address made here, so I just copy that. So the address uh, is authorization ad address, and we have the client ID for the bot, we have the permission set up, and then finally there's scope for the bot. So I'm going to copy paste this here, and uh, now uh, I'm logged in as myself. I get a list of all my servers, and I have one here. So I'm going to add bot here, and then grant the bot these uh, permissions. I'm feeling lucky, so I'll authorize that. By the way, let's be human today. So by, by the way, uh, the read access for the messages is already quite a lot. So that's a, already a huge uh, permission to give. So we don't really need anything else. There's also voice permissions. And under, admin, uh, under general, there is huge permissions like manage server, kick members, ban members. So obviously we don't want to give those unless the bot really needs those. So that's security kind of step number one. Okay, final rant, uh, let's go to bot page. So uh, in the next uh, session that I'm going to do for the next week, uh, we are going to need this uh, uh, token, bot token. Uh, there's a token string that gives us access to this bot and therefore access to this channel. This is obviously a secret. And what do you do with secrets? You need to keep them secret. So protect that with your life. Like, well, almost. Uh, in other words, uh, don't click that while uh, streaming to YouTube. Don't reveal it for the world to see. Don't uh, put it in your GitHub. Not even Git history. Uh, so your secrets need to be secret. It's quite simple principle but still I, need, uh, still I see it broken several times. So if you're a professional software developer or even a hobbyist that wants to do things right, so protect your secrets and keep them away from any code you check into Git. Don't, don't expose them unnecessarily. However, if you do, here is a fix. In this case, uh, you can regenerate the token and then the old one will be thrown away and uh, you can move on to moving the new one. So there's some kind of uh, ways to, to mitigate if accidentally you happen to do something nasty with that. This concludes first part of my series. So this was our setup. Uh, you need account in Discord, uh, you need a server in Discord, you need the application, and then you create a bot and then you attach the bot to, the, uh, to your server and you grant the permissions it needs. And finally, you are left with a token that we are going to use next time. The reason why I'm doing these short, uh, quite simple videos, uh, it's easy to find this information if you Google around. You can even find other videos on this. But my video is done in 2021. It's quite recent. Uh, this is from perspective of professional software developer who's not allowed to make much mistakes. Uh, always room for some, but uh, some, some of these best practices are ki kind of, you should really follow them. So I'm trying to show easy way and on the other hand, uh, right enough way to do these things. Uh, if you see any mistakes here that I've already made, uh, please leave some feedback in the feedback section. Uh, or alternatively, if you really like the content, if you find this useful, again, press those buttons, leave some feedback. That lets me know that somebody else than myself is uh, looking at this video, so that's always a good thing. I think that's enough for this week's episode. I try to keep this short and lightweight and optimal. So thanks for watching this one and come back next week if you want to see more. Bye bye.